The cool and really gloomy weather from last week is now behind us, and things will start improving just a little bit as we get into the next work week. We've got a ridge setting up over much of the western and central United States that's going to bring in warmer weather from the south, working its way into the central plains, into Iowa, Illinois, the Corn Belt, further into the south and the east. We're going to stay pretty neutral near the average mark in North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, and Iowa, but warmer weather does start to work its way closer and closer to the north. Meanwhile, even further to the south, in the southern tier of the United States, downright hot weather is in store, with temperatures nearing 80, even 90 degrees, setting up for some stormy weather. As we get into the following week, the ridge starts to move off to the east. That's going to pull the warmer air further to the east as well, and some of that hot weather. We'll start to see a little more amplitude in our jet stream, which means we're starting to see a few more ups and downs, especially on the west coast, which is going to set up for a little more active period and push the warmer weather further off to the east. As for precipitation, for the first week, we're looking at showers in the southeast corner of the United States. We could see periodic rain from time to time. This doesn't mean we're going to be necessarily dry 100% of the days, but the bulk of the moisture will be in the southeast corner of the state. When we get a little more amplitude in that jet stream, that's when we start to see a more active period set up uh, through the center of the country with stormy weather across portions of the central and southern plains and more scattered showers from border to border, Canada down to Mexico, right in the heart of the country. So this is setting up for May in full swing. We'll slowly see temperatures warm and warm as we get further into the month and closer to June. Expecting periodic rain from time to time the first week and then more scattered showers as we get into the second week. And with that second week setup, we're looking at more storms likely in the central and southern plains.